Hey, our friends, today we're going to be drawing a root bear float. Yeah, we hope you get to follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We like using markers. markers. Yeah. And some paper and something to color with. Yeah, let's start. Yes. We're first going to draw the top of our mug, our frosty mug. We're going to draw a curve like that. So it's kind of a smile line. Yeah. Then we're going to draw, let's first draw the whipped cream on top. We're going to draw a bump on the left and then also on the right. Curves coming in. This is going to look a lot like our vanilla ice cream cone that we just did. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to draw another curve on the left and another one on the right. Then let's draw another curve that comes up a little higher on the left. And then we're going to draw an S curve to connect to the other side. So we're going to curve one direction like this. And then we're going to curve back the other direction and connect. Yeah, we could also draw, let's draw little curves right here on the side. And we can also draw, let's draw curves over here on the other side too. There's our whipped cream. Cool. Now let's draw the mug. We're going to draw a curve that comes out of the whipped cream like this on both sides. So this is the lip of our mug. Then we're going to draw straight lines. We're going to curve in the corner and then we're going to draw a straight line coming down. Oh, now I need a root beer float. <laughs> And we want both sides to match, come down to the same length. Then we're going to connect the bottom. We're going to draw a curve that comes like this over to the other side and connect up. And see how this curve down here matches the curve up at the top. Next, we're going to draw the inside of our frosty mug. The glass on a root beer float, a classic root beer float, is yeah. really thick because they put it in the freezer first to make it really, really cold. cold. Yeah, really cold. So we're going to start over here and we're going to trace around. We're going to start on the side. We're going to trace around and then down at the bottom, we're going to curve around just like we did at the very bottom. And we're going to come back up on the right side. Nice. Now up here at the top, we're going to also draw a line that comes across for the top of our mug. All right, now we need to draw the ice cream. We're going to draw a bumpy line. We're going to come down like this all the way across to the other side. It's just floating at the top. <laughs> Looks like a vanilla iceberg. Yes. <laughs> now we need to draw the handle. Let's draw two lines that come out of the left side, two short lines. Then we're going to connect the top down to the bottom with a little curve. And then let's create that same shape. We're going to start up a little higher. We're going to come around. So we got a thick handle coming out of our side of our mug. All right, now we need to draw the straw. Let's draw two diagonal lines coming out of our whipped cream or the ice cream. And then we can connect the top with a curve to make it look 3D. All right, Jack, what is our root beer float oh, missing? Funny face. Yeah, we always got to add funny faces to our food. Okay, um, let's fast forward this part so that we can do different funny faces. You guys at home can pause the video right now and add your own funny face. You ready to fast forward? Yes. All right. a very luxurious root beer float. Yeah. I don't know if that's the right word. Okay. <laughs> All right. I also added bubbles and you could leave that off to keep the lesson a little easier. But what should we do next? Color it. Yeah. We need to fast forward one more time. But at the end, you can pause the video again if you want to match our same coloring. Check your five. 
Do you think it looks tastier colored in? Yes, for uh, sure. I think so too. I hope our art friends are gonna color their drawings also. We use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home. Yeah, you could use crayons or even colored pencils. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your root beer float. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you have fun changing your drawings to look different. You could add more things in the background or even sprinkles on the top. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, take a photo of your child's finished artwork and post it on Facebook or Instagram. Also, be sure to tag us in it at Art for Kids Hub. Did you know that we also have a website? You can find it at artforkidshub.com. It has more lessons and information about art supplies we love to use. You can also visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more about our awesome Art Hub membership. The membership includes exclusive lessons and our own apps so your child can learn art in a focused, distraction-free environment.